Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology and in this video we are going to talk about rabies virus and whenever you hear this term rabies virus the only thing that always should come in your mind that is dogs, right, stray dogs. They have this in their saliva and particularly if they, they have this infection through their saliva if they bite any individual human then this virus can spread and it can be fatal, it can be deadly. So that's really important. So general property, a deadly virus spread to people from the saliva of infected animals. Rabies is usually transmitted through an animal bite, example stray dogs. And now what kind of disease it causes? Uh, scientific name is rabies lysa virus. is a neurotrophic virus that cause rabies in human as well as other animals like dogs. Rabies is a preventable viral disease most often transmitted through the bite of a rabid animal. A rabid animal means any animal infected with the rabies virus. Particularly stray dogs have more chances to catch them. The rabies virus infects the central nervous system of mammals, ultimately causing disease in the brain and causes the death of the individual. So deadly disease, definitely. So that's why if any stray dog cuts or bites you, definitely go for the whole vaccination process of rabies virus otherwise it can kill you look at the structure another thing that should be imprinted in your mind when you talk about rabies virus one is the dogs second thing is a bullet okay why i'm talking about bullet because the virus looks like a bullet that's how it looks like distinct bullet shape structure uh, and we call them rhabdovirus family approximately 180 million nanometers long and 75 nanometers wide so long 180 and wide 75 nanometers okay this is how it looks like and uh, it contains five different types of proteins uh, you can say namingly there are different proteins okay n for nucleoprotein p for phosphoprotein m for matrix protein you can see that g for glycoprotein or spikes and l is the polymerase that is present inside of this virus it carries its own polymerase all Rhabdoviruses have two major structural components. One is the helical ribonucleoprotein core or RNP. So you can see this ribonucleoprotein, this is the, this is the genome and it, the genome looks like this, this zigzag. We call it helical structure, right? Helical ribonucleoprotein core where we not only have RNA but also we have proteins. What proteins? In this case, yellow colored proteins that is the polymerase that is L protein here look at, okay? And surrounding envelope is also there. The envelope is also containing G glycoprotein spikes. So now if we make a cross section and if we look at from above a top view, then we can find it something like this. We have the matrix protein surrounding it and inside we have a hollow chamber where the nucleocapsid is present, nucleoproteins are present and surrounding the place we have the envelope and we have all the ribonucleo, I mean G glycoproteins in the envelope. Okay, so genetic material is non-segmented negative standard RNA genome is present. Non-segmented negative standard RNA genome. The incubation period of this disease, rabies, two to three months. It may take up to two to three months. That's why whenever you have a dog bite, stray dog bites or any other dog bite, then go for the vaccination process and now it's only four vaccines that you need to take. But uh, it may vary from one week to one year even depending upon the factors such as the location of the virus entry and the viral load. Because you know normally our body is protecting our central nervous system with most and top most priority because that is the most important part, the brain and the central nervous system. So it's very difficult for any virus or bacteria to reach the CNS. So it takes some time for the virus. So it gives you a lot of time to get rid of this viral infection, to get vaccinated. Classification. Uh, we can say that the Rhabdoviridae family, they belong to Rhabdoviridae family and include at least three genera of animal viruses known as Lassie virus, then Ephemerovirus and Vesiculovirus. Ephemerovirus, Vesiculovirus or Lysa virus and we, we, we know that this is a Rabies uh, Lysa virus that we talked about. The route of transmission. The route of transmission, rabies virus transmitted through the direct contact, such as through the broken skin or mucous membranes in the eyes, nose or mouth with saliva or brain nervous system tissue from an infected animal. So we know sometimes you can see that dogs, they have, you know, their brains, uh, you can visible uh, check from outside and mostly those, those are the dogs that are infected with rabies because their central nervous system is dead, they have uh, fractured in the skull and the virus is now has an open entry to the brain. So in those cases, if the dog dies, uh, you know, after a dog bite, in that is the time, that is the symptom that yes, the dog had this. So definitely you need to be very precautious about it. People usually get rabies from the bite of a rabid animal that I already mentioned. 
particularly dogs symptoms pain areas is uh, any muscle in the body different muscles whole body dizziness fatigue fever loss of appetite and malaise will be there psychological uh, process also gets hampered you know fear and hallucination can be there that is something specific about this rabies virus infection mm, uh, and muscular muscle spasm and paralysis with weak muscles can be there pins and needle sensitivity to light is there is a sense sensory reception behavioral means aggression or irritability can also be present there and gastrointestinal problems like nausea or vomiting can be there and very common side effect like anxiety brain death coma difficulty swallowing uh, and uh, excessive salivation headache mental confusion seizures and stiff neck are all characteristics of this particular specific rabies infection okay difficulty swallowing salivation excessive amount of saliva production mental confusion hallucination seizures and stiffing in the neck are the characteristics let's look at the life cycle as i mentioned this is like hitting with a bullet so adsorption is the very first step then penetration and after the penetration they have uncoating of their uh, zigzag or helical ribonuclear protein and we have this um, polymerase along with this RNA and they have plus stranded RNA. They may make the plus stranded RNA, and this plus stranded RNA will continue to make the proteins. And once the proteins are prepared, then these proteins are ready to to package the virus. And on the meantime, they also use these proteins to again uh, replicate this plus stranded RNA to the minus stranded RNA because minus stranded RNA is going to be the genetic material here. So the minus stranded RNA once produced, and once the capsid structures are also capsomeres are already produced. So again, the same thing, the repackaging or assembly will be done here. and the assembly will take place near the cell membrane and after the assembly is complete then they will bulge it out out of it okay and on the other hand you know the g protein synthesis site is totally different compared to the rest of the other proteins because this this virus they contains multiple proteins they have the capsomere structures the capsid proteins which are produced in the cytosol but the g proteins the glycoproteins that are present on the surface of this virus in the envelope that is produced totally separately in a different location of the of the host cell okay and then both are assembled and then transported out by budding and taking a portion of the cell membrane from the host uh, and uh, that's how it particularly works and it generally takes entry via the host receptor that is on the surface with the help of the g protein uh, and the re receptor that particularly binds with the host cell receptor surface so this is how the rabies virus replicate so this is all about the rabies virus structure genetic material and rabies virus life cycle if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more and more videos like that in future thank you bye